Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. Right now, these eyebrows, they're looking real rough. Like, this eyebrow is my trouble eyebrow. It's just like a whole mess on its own. This one's kind of decent. Um, gives me something good to work with, but ugh, this one, I hate it. But whatever, because we are going to fix it and I'm going to use a few products to do so. First product I'm going to use is by MAC, it's one of their eyebrow pencils, and this is in the color Spiked. So what I'm going to start by doing, let me put my mirror here, is I'm going to outline my eyebrow, and then I'm going to fill it in with Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, in case you aren't aware. <laughs> let me just brush my brow really quick, so I'm going to use this little eyebrow brush by e.l.f. and it just has, you know, the little slanted brush on one side and the little spoolie on the other. So I'm just going to comb this little bit to my nice brow and then my, my stupid brow over here. So I'm going to outline this little bitch over here, start right here in the bottom and just bring it all the way down to the tail. And then we're going to outline the top of it. Go along with the natural shape of your brow you already got going on. If you have a weird shaped brow, I'm sorry. Now we're going to give the troubled brow a shot here. Let's see what it's going to do today. I really just need to grow out this brow because it's so... It's like so ugly and stupid in the end. Like, do you guys have a troubled brow? Like, this is like my problem child here. I just want my brows to look nice. I want them to cooperate, and this one doesn't always want to cooperate, so let's cross our fingers that today it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and get the top outlined. The good thing is if you make mistakes later on, we're gonna go ahead and clean up our brows with concealer and they'll look like perfection, so don't worry. This troubled brow over here is also not as naturally arched like this brow is. So I always want to go in there and try to give it just that little more out, give it a little more of an arch so that they match. We want our eyebrows to be sisters, but not necessarily are they going to be twins, and that is totally fine. And usually, no one else can notice when your eyebrows are not exactly the same. And if they do notice, they need to mind their business. I think that's looking pretty decent so far. I try not to go too crazy with trying to get it perfect because. Then well, this video will be an hour long of me trying to fix my crazy brow. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my little eyebrow brush and I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is in the color Medium Brown. I've gone through quite a few different brow products throughout the years and this is, this is my favorite. Right now what I'm doing is probably my favorite routine that I've done and I think my brows are looking better than ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of outline it again so it has like a more darker defined look and then we're going to fill in the middle. But I don't want to start all the way here from the beginning of the brow because then you kind of create that whole block brow and who the hell wants that? Not me. I will say I'm guilty of having block brows in the past but it's okay. We learn, we move on. Now I'm showing you girls, boys, whoever's watching this video. We all want nice brows. I'm going to start like right here from like kind of like the middle of the brow like and just outline it from there. Alright, so just go underneath there. Pull down your tail. There we go. And then I'm going to go over here in the top and go ahead and make the shape there. And we're looking good so far, but there's still a little more work to be done. Let me just say, eyebrows, they take work. Many of us were not blessed with beautiful brows, and we gotta put effort into these bitches. It's like, you gotta transform them from looking like Walmart and crappy to like a Gucci level, and that's what I aim for every day. You can't trust a bitch that doesn't put effort into her brows. It's like, your eyes are like the nipples of the face, and your eyebrows is like the cleavage. Don't you want a nice cleavage going on? Because I know I do. I'm actually pretty happy with how this brow is turning out. And I kind of like to bring the tail down kind of long. I don't know, that's just my style. You do you, boo. If you don't like a long tail, then don't do it. And sometimes I need a, a closer look to 
my eyebrows, so I go in with my little small mirror here, and I just make sure that it's all semi-precise, because like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go in later, and we're going to clean it up with concealer, and it'll be perfection later on. It's a work in progress right now. Now we're going to go on to my troubled brow, and hopefully she's going to work with us today, because... I just don't have time to be struggling here forever. But we're gonna just start again over here towards the center and work our way towards the tail and just create that outline with a darker, like it's already kind of getting retarded over here. Ugh. Just work with me, my troubled brow, please just work with me. Filling this little bad bitch in. And I can already see this is gonna need some major cleanup. And if you can see, I don't know if you can, but it's not the best, but it's okay because we're going to get there. Line the top over here and pull it down, pull it on down. So who's had an embarrassing eyebrow, you know, face throughout their life? I feel like everyone is. I feel like it's a rite of passage to have crappy eyebrows. I think my crappy eyebrows were the worst of the worst in like middle school because I pretty much pluck, 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 pluck until they were like nothing. There were thin little lines and they were just like, I like plucked them to be like halfway. God, it's so embarrassing. The little cholita brows. I was living in West Phoenix, so maybe I was trying to fit in, but whatever. So we're past those days and we're trying to look good now. One of the things I love about the Anastasia um, dip brow is like once you put that on, it's like you're like safe for the day, especially here in Arizona. It's so hot and sometimes you're just sweating and it's like with Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, like I can, I can go like this and I know that my eyebrows are not going to be over here. Like, and before I go in and start cleaning it up, I'm going to take just a little like cotton swab and I'm just going to kind of blend the beginning out. I like to have a more, you know, kind of like a gradient look, but not like super gradient. You know, there's this one girl that like, it just is like so like like super faded and then just goes out to super dark and it kind of just looks like it's all one weird brow thing. That's not my style. And I like to do this first before I start cleaning it up. That way if it like spreads down a little too much, it's like you're going to go through and clean it up anyway and you're good. I'm just going to go in and clean up with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the Color Fair. The brush that I'm going to use to clean up is this generic like flat little head brush that I got. It's just some generic little brush, it works fine. And you want to go in with just a little bit of concealer. You don't want a whole lot, that way it's not like you're blending all this concealer out. So what I really do here is there's all these excess concealer on like this little stem here. So I just literally just go and wipe it off with the brush. And then I apply that. And then when you dip it back in, there's gonna be more excess concealer there. And it's just like, it's like the perfect amount. So I just want to clean up this brow because it's bothering me. It's, it's messy and it needs to be cleaned. And sometimes, you know, I have to go back and like draw a little more. Like I said, sometimes my brows, they take me forever, but I refuse to walk out of this house with bad looking brows. My eyebrows are like one of the things I get asked about the most and what I get complimented on a whole lot is people are like, what products are you using? How did you do that? So this video, it's for you bitches. And honestly, I'm actually pretty happy with how this brow is turning out. It's not giving me a whole lot of trouble, but I definitely need to go in with a little more concealer. I'm just going to let that dry for a second, and then I'm going to pick up some more product off of here, and then go ahead and clean up the other side. All I know is so far, things from the drugstore, not for me, for the brows. If you have a drugstore product that you think works great, I would love to hear about it. Honestly, I do my brows before I do my eyeshadow, but I mean, I just didn't want to come here all bare, so it's okay. After you have your brows all filled in and ready to go, like, go in there with your tweezers, and this is the perfect time to, like, pluck out any stray or excess hairs that you have, because you can see exactly how you already like to have your brows, and you can, any little misfits, you like, pluck, bye. All right, I think the brows, they're looking decent. I mean, they're, they're looking good. They're looking good. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop a little highlight underneath these brows, and we will be done. I'm going to go in with this, or not. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's just like a shimmery white color. It is called Chick. 
So I'm just going to dip there with this little e.l.f. blending brush. You can use whatever it suits you. And just pop that highlight underneath here. And I'm going to blend it down so that it goes in with my eyeshadow. And there you guys have it. That is my everyday brow routine. I have good days, I have bad days. Sometimes they come out way better than other days, but you know what? That is life and for the most part, they're looking good. Yeah, so please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos here. I'll do some beauty related stuff, some lifestyle stuff, you know, whatever. And if there's anything in particular you wanna see, make sure you let me know in the comments. But yeah, till then, I will see you on the next video. Bye.